The young and the restless spoilers and rumors teased Sharon Rosales, Sharon Case, plan to frame Daniel Romolotti, Michael Graziedi, could backfire. For one thing, now that she's planted evidence in his apartment, the GCPD CSI team will descend, and they'll look for everything might they find Sharon's lost a hair or two. The young and the restless spoilers, will Daniel Romolotti being framed be enough? An imagined Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, continues to stoke Sharon's desire for revenge against Daniel, but will this be sufficient to quench her relentless pursuit of retribution? Killing Heather Stevens, Veil Bloom, or at least thinking she did, and framing Daniel may not be enough, considering Cassie Newman, Cameron Grimes, died. This strategy keeps Daniel alive, but we believe that watching him suffer in prison for a crime he didn't commit wouldn't be sufficient to fulfill her relentless desire for revenge. The police are involved already, as Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, confided in Daniel, revealing her autopsy showed Heather did not drown in the river, rather from blunt force trauma. The former police officer, who aspires to return to the force, also disclosed that the Geno City Police Department is initiating a comprehensive investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death. Why and our spoilers, romantic partners and spouses, are always persons of interest. It's common for investigators to focus on romantic partners during murder inquiries, which likely leads Sharon to believe that fabricating evidence will secure a strong case against Daniel. However, she may be making a grave error in her judgment. Daniel possesses a solid alibi for the evening of Heather's murder. He was dining with Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and Summer Newman, Hallison Lenier, followed by an ice cream outing with Lucy Romolotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien, at the Athletic Club. To top it off, he took Lucy to a movie that same night. Given this timeline, would the police really entertain the idea that he had sufficient time to commit the crime and clean up before his other engagements? The young and the restless spoilers. Motive, means, opportunity Daniel had none of these. Even if the authorities come through the apartment and discover the bloody towels, can Daniel's alibi truly convince them that he is being set up? Additionally, we must consider Daniel's motive he and Heather were deeply in love, with their only disagreement revolving around whether to stay in Geno City, a decision Daniel claimed Heather agreed with. Therefore, he had no incentive to harm her. However, from a different perspective, an overly ambitious prosecutor might view the bloody towels as sufficient grounds to build a case against Daniel. The prosecutor could contend that Daniel's timeline on the night of Heather's murder is quite tight. It's still within the realm of possibility that he could be the perpetrator. Not to mention Heather's phone, which Sharon also plants with the towels, which leads to the forensic investigation in Daniel's penthouse. Why, and our spoilers, the DA might really be pushing for a win. The prosecutor might argue that Heather's unhappiness in Geno City and her fear for Lucy led her to threaten to leave town with their daughter, potentially abandoning Daniel. Pushing for a win, the DA might reason this could have triggered a violent outburst from Daniel, who feared losing his child. If Daniel faces charges based on such flimsy evidence, he should feel fortunate that his godmother Christine, Laurelli Bell, is returning to town. As a skilled lawyer and no longer a district attorney, she would be an invaluable asset to his defense chief know how to fight the charges. There's no confirmation yet on whether Danny Romolotti, Michael Damien, will accompany her, but it wouldn't be surprising if he did. The young and the restless spoilers, back to Sharon's frame-up backfiring. Back to the possibility of Sharon's frame-up backfiring, there is a possibility the forensic evidence found by sweeping his apartment could rule him out as a suspect. As previously mentioned, even though Sharon cleaned up the blood thoroughly, what if during the fight with Heather she lost a hair or two? Phyllis and Lucy are probably going to blame her, and she lacks a solid alibi for her whereabouts on the night of the murder. If the suspicion intensifies, could Sharon lose her composure and descend into an even deeper chaos? Chance gives Daniel a warning and starts an investigation, but then he interrogates Sharon this week. 
be sure to catch up on everything happening with Y and R right now. Come back here often for the young and the rest of spoilers, news and updates.